Hello and welcome to yet another wartime audio review that I'm making to distract myself from, from everything that is going on around me. And uh, as you can see today I want to tell you about a pretty interesting model. It was released about half a year ago or somewhere uh, at that period of time, uh, but it didn't grab uh, huge popularity. But it's uh, still a pretty interesting model uh, and I don't have much things in QA, so I will review them too. And they are pretty interesting, I will tell later why. Uh, it's made by Shenling and Myriad in the cooperation, they named this model Music One. And uh, Shenling Yuan, all of you know that company, and Myriad, I'm not familiar with their products, but I know that it's a British uh, company that uh, make uh, big hi-fi, and as I know their name, probably they making something good and they are popular. And they are really reasonable guys, I can make this assumption, because uh, unlike many other big hi-fi companies, they decided to release uh, earphones that goes to the budget segment. Because it's, you know, common situation, like when some big companies say, oh, we are a big hi-fi company, we make speakers, expensive amplifiers, we know everything about the sound, let's release expensive in-ear monitors, let's price them $600, $900, and then they fail because they are uh, not familiar with current situation on the hi-fi market. And Myriad are wise guys, they decided to release model targeted towards the mass market. They priced them really reasonably, $90. I will add links to the description. And they partnered with Shenling, who have experience in, in the portable audio. Shenling also makes uh, big uh, hi-fi, but they have huge experience in portable audio, and you know about that. So let's have a closer look. Package is nice better than traditionally in this uh, price tire because they targeted towards mass audience so they wanted to create a good product they highlighted the, their biomaster technology it's uh, some antimicrobial antibacterial coating that uh, uh, inhibit growth of harmful bacteria on surfaces so uh, it's extending lifetime of product and probably keeping your ears uh, healthier Perfect fit, but it's common for this shape, of course, uh, no questions here. Total control means 3-button control, 9mm dynamic driver. And uh, talking about the specs, 16 ohms of impedance and 93 decibels of sensitivity. Pretty good, slightly less sensitive than average, but still uh, pretty uh, okay. They made uh, with uh, smartphones in mind. And as you can see inside of that sleeve you're getting another box made of pretty thick cardboard, looks uh, nice and fancy. Here are ear pieces themselves, so let's get them out. Underneath you'll get uh, three extra pair of silicone tips and two pair of foams, some kind of manual and nice uh, storage pouch, pretty compact and uh, nicely done, good zipper, soft, uh, feels uh, pleasant, short clip and stock cable. In terms of design, ear pieces are just like regular, traditional plastic made in-ear monitors with really good ergonomic shape, fitting nicely into ears, but what uh, grabs attention, of course, is these colors. Interesting uh, tint, somewhere in between green and gray. I don't know the name of this color, definitely it has some name, but uh, naming of colors, it's a matter that is better, it's a question that's better to address some designer or my wife. There is no Shanling logo on faceplates, only Myriad. Shanling probably are humble here. And uh, looks uh, pretty attractive. Build quality is nice, so uh, good seamless shells, uh, feels uh, solid. 3D printed, so this stuff is done well. Spouts are slightly longer than average, with proper angle, so fitting nicely into ears and providing slightly above average sound isolation. There is a lip for holding the tips and protective grill, so all that uh, elements that I pay attention are here. And the uh, stock cable is just normal, so nothing stellar, but uh, for this segment pretty good. They decided to use a two pin connector with recessed pins. As you can see, cable is slightly tangling, but it's 
pretty easy to untangle usually. So usually it's easy, <laughs> but not this, not this time. But anyway, so socket with two pins, recessed ones. If I remember right, it's QDC connectors. Fitting nicely, providing good connection quality and uh, holding really well. There are ear hooks, but without memory wire inside. And cable itself uh, pretty soft, not super soft, but nice. Microphonic effect is low and I like that uh, uh, insulation by touch. There is a three button control with microphone. Uh, it's normal, but if you want to be heard clearly and loudly, it's better to move it closer to your mouse. And here is the splitter with chin slider and underneath it goes down to the jack. They decided to use 45 degrees angle, so no, not 90 degrees angle and not straight, something in between. So to summarize this part, as you can see in terms of design, sound quality and other stuff, it's uh, done on a really good level. And of course about the sound, I gave them about 48 hours of burn-in, but there were no significant changes in sound, so if you decide to get them, don't spend time burning them in, just select proper tips, because it's important here, and you can enjoy them. As for the general representation, Shanlink and Myriad selected a really proper tuning for the mass market product, uh, slightly on the warmer side of things, but not over bloated, with uh, pleasant accent on low frequencies, but with nice control, not harsh, uh, really suitable for long listening sessions, and giving a pleasant musical sound, uh, and th on top of that, uh, they building a pretty good uh, imaginary stage. So, mass market, but uh, well done. You know, sometimes mass market uh, considered as something bad, but in my opinion, model that targeted towards uh, big audience, uh, it's not a bad thing. Uh, of course, don't expect some audiophilia focus on the micro contrast here, they're not created for that, but uh, if you want something for daily commute or something like that, you definitely can enjoy this model. Actually, it was the whole review, so thank you for listening. Okay, okay, I'm kidding here, and let's talk about everything step by step. Uh, so, low frequencies are slightly accented, accent is done both on mid and deeper layers of bass, depth is normal, but not uh, maximum, and same applies for the resolution, it's normal, but not maximum. And uh, there is a slight hint of added weight, uh, but impact is also pretty good. Of course, it's not the model for those who need super fast and tight low frequencies, but if you like weighty bass, they will play it nicely. And they are pretty enjoyable with acoustic instruments too. Of course, they're lacking a bit of uh, uh, micro nuances and overtones, but it's not the model for those who need that anyway. And as an example, I've got Onuka, Vidlik, uh, great Ukrainian uh, uh, folk electronic project with really punchy, mighty bass line and uh, a huge set of different uh, folk instruments, uh, stylish uh, music videos and so on. And bass line here plays of course an, an important role and this model definitely represents it uh, really well. Mids are slightly focused on the macro dynamics, uh, highlighting emotions a little bit, normal in terms of resolution, but not uh, focused on the micro contrast, so you won't lose any small nuances, but model doesn't highlight them. Sometimes it softened, uh, softens aggressive guitars, but not often. There is no big hump in the presence area, but female vocal sounds uh, pretty crisp and pleasant. Imaginary stage is actually above average, both in width and in depth, and it's a good result for more overall warm sounding model. It, it, it's musical, not super critical, but at the same time good mastering will be a plus for them. And uh, as an example, I've got, no, not this track, it's, I've got Megadeth uh, Breadline. 
And it's exactly that example where guitars are slightly softened, but at the same time Mustaine vocal sounds uh, really pleasant with good amount of emotions, also thanks to the highlighted uh, bass, uh, bass guitar and drum part sounds pleasant. And uh, all that uh, cymbals and percussion doesn't sound uh, sharp and aggressive at the same time. And uh, treble actually also on the softer side of things it's present it but it's not super extended it's uh, definitely model for those who prefer comfortable treble but at the same time it's not over comfortable and uh, it's just not harsh and of course it plays nicely basic uh, overtones but don't expect some audiophilia layering or something like that but at the same time treble here is good enough to represent uh, all uh, represent nuances of uh, room where it was recorded and stuff. And uh, as an example, Peter Gabriel, the rhythm of the hit, uh, nice interesting track with a great orchestral part and that requires a good uh, treble performance. Uh, of course this model is slightly below that level that is necessary for this uh, uh, track, but still uh, plays uh, really pleasantly. Speaking about pairing, so it's really okay with uh, smartphones, uh, if unless your smartphone is really weak in terms of output power. But uh, with the vast majority of modern smartphones, it will be more than enough. Or some small digital tonal converter will fix that for you easily. I won't be doing any compressions this time because it's slightly different models than typical in this uh, price range. They are slightly warmer and uh, the same but not over warm not overdone in this aspect it's not audiophilic model but if you're interested in some particular compressions just uh, write the question i will try to answer here thank you for listening thank you for your attention if you're looking for a model for some non-audio file it can be a really good option and uh, see you in next reviews